you will find all the time doctors will say your survival is 10 months. Um, that's a bunch of baloney. That is a population statistic. These survivals are of populations. What your survival is, nobody can tell. Cancer patients are incredibly resilient. They're cr incredibly wonderful people. And even when they are um, challenging to care for because of who they are, you know, they still want the same things as every human. You are not a statistic. What happens to you is unique. It's something that um, nobody can predict right now. It's been very exciting to be a part of the lung cancer research, especially in the last few years where we've made some really big steps forward. I have uh, patient examples who, of people who had 20 spots of cancer around their body and they were told you know, they had six months to live and in fact we were able to manage them for more than 10 years and they die of something else. Instead of worrying about statistics of populations, they just worry about themselves and, and that's, that's what really counts in the end. I think we found some of the big things. It's going to be smaller things, which mean that we need to pull out those patients and also work together to do the right trials, looking at the right drugs. And so it takes a lot of collaboration um, and, uh, and teamwork to get there. But um, I think we're at a good place, and there's a lot of momentum and a lot of excitement for, um, for understanding the biology and, and targeting it. The person that discovered uh, EGF and the, uh, the epidermal growth factor and the epidermal growth factor receptor was a gentleman by the name of Stan Cohen. Dr. Cohen won the Nobel Prize for that discovery in 1986, but he described EGF in 1962. He later cloned the receptor for that growth factor in 1980. It wasn't until nearly 25 years later that we were to, able to put that knowledge into clinical practice. Let me tell you how things have changed. At the end of 2007, a group of Japanese investigators discovered another molecular abnormality in a subset of adenocarcinomas known as the EML4 ALK fusion. Less than three years later, a drug had been developed and demonstrated its effectiveness in treating that group of patients. 40-some years versus three years.